Okay guys, uh, so we're going to start getting into the molecular level and what happens um, in the light dependent reactions and in the light independent reactions. So <clears throat> the light dependent reactions is, there's definitely a lot going on. So <clears throat> this one might take more than one video, we'll see, but I'm just going to take my time. I'm not going to rush it and so that hopefully it's a little bit more clear that way. So here's our overview diagram. Again, we're talking about the light dependent reactions right now and what's going on there. So, uh, the first thing, okay, step by step. Sunlight is our energy source in the light dependent reactions. So sunlight will be absorbed by the chlorophyll pigment molecules and that will supply the energy for the rest of the reaction to happen. Energy conversion begins when a quantum of light, and that's what we call a photon, excites a chlorophyll molecule, causing an electron in the chlorophyll to move from one molecular orbital to another of higher energy. Okay, So we're exciting this electron so that it moves up to a higher energy level state. Okay, This excited molecule is what we call unstable. And because of that, it will, it will tend to return very quickly to its original unexcited state. And it can do that in three ways. The first way is that it can return to its original, unexcited, more stable state by converting the extra energy into heat or converting it into a combination of heat and light of a longer wavelength. And that's what we would call fluorescence. The second way that it can do that is by transferring the energy, not the electron itself, but the energy, directly to a neighboring chlorophyll molecule. And that's what we call resonance energy transfer. And we see that happen in photosynthesis. And then the third way is by transferring the negatively charged high energy electron to another nearby molecule. And that's what we would call an electron acceptor. And then the chlorophyll will return to its original state by taking up a low energy electron from something that we would call an electron donor. So in photosynthesis, uh, the last two mechanisms are facilitated by two different protein complexes. So what that means is, if I go back, these two mechanisms of how we can get an excited molecule to return back to its unexcited state, these two mechanisms happen by particular protein complexes in the light dependent reactions. Okay, The first one, which is where we're transferring the energy to a neighboring chlorophyll molecule, in other words, resonance energy transfer, that is uh, happening by what we call the antenna complex. So in your textbook, it talks about light harvesting complex, um, which is they're the same, but they're not. So an antenna complex is um, a combination of many different light harvesting complexes. Okay, and I'll show you in a picture in a second. And then the second mechanism here that we can get an excited electron back to its original state is by transferring the high energy electron to an electron acceptor. Okay, and that happens in what we call the photochemical reaction center. And your textbook refers to that as the reaction center complex. Okay, so let's just go through them one at a time and then I'll show you the picture and kind of how it works. So the antenna complex, aka the light harvesting complexes, there's multiple, um, they are important for actually capturing the light energy. Okay, so they have pigment molecules, accessory pigments in the protein that will capture the photons. They're comprised of many distinct membrane protein complexes known as the light harvesting complexes. Okay? Um, they also contain accessory pigments, sometimes the most common one that we know is the carotenoids, that will protect the chlorophyll from oxidation and they can also help collect uh, light of other wavelengths that the chlorophyll cannot. Okay, and so the important thing about the antenna complex is that when the light excites a chlorophyll molecule in the antenna complex, the energy is rapidly transferred from one molecule to another by what we call resonance energy transfer until it reaches a special pair of chlorophyll molecules in the photochemical reaction center. And this is the diagram. 
uh, from your textbook. So we have the thylakoid membrane, notice it's the lipid bilayer, and then we have our photosystem. Okay, this is a diagram of just a photosystem in general. Okay, so each photosystem consists of chlorophylls. We have our special pair of chlorophylls here. They also consist of accessory pigments, which are these other green little dots. Okay, and then proteins. So each one of these purple blobs, notice how there's one, two, three here that they've shown in the cross section. Um, those are each individual little proteins and they're called light harvesting complex complexes, excuse me. And then here in the middle, this blue, um, this is the reaction center complex, okay? Um, and then as a whole, so all of these purple light harvesting complexes, that's what we call the antenna complex. And then the blue, which is the reaction center complex, that we can also refer to as the photochemical reaction center, okay? So what's happening is when the photon is absorbed by one of these accessory pigments, um, it will excite the electron in this pigment and will cause it to jump up, right? And then when that uh, electron comes, falls back down, that will cause this electron to jump up. And then when that falls back down, it causes this electron to jump up. And then, then this electron jumps up. And then this electron jumps up, right? Until eventually the electron gets transferred into the special chlorophyll A molecules in the center of the um, reaction center complex. Okay, so it's kind of like um, when I said earlier in class, it's kind of like a wave, so to speak, if you've gone to a sporting event or a concert or something and you have a big stadium of people and all of a sudden they start doing the wave, you know, and, and like when one person throws their, their arms up, woo, then it causes you to throw your arms up. And then you, when you throw your arms up, it causes the next person to throw their arms up and so on. Okay, so then the second part of the photosystem is the photochemical reaction center, or your textbook refers to it as the reaction center complex. So the photochemical reaction center is a transmembrane protein pigment complex, right? Transmembrane expands the membrane, it's a protein, and then it's pigments, okay? So transmembrane protein pigment complex. It lies at the heart of photosynthesis with a smiley face, okay? Your reaction center complex is super important because that's what the chlorophyll is um, and that's where, you know, ultimately, what, if, if you don't have photosystems two and photosystems one and specifically you don't have the reaction center complex, then you can't ultimately make any ATP or NADPH. Okay, so... Um, it was thought to have evolved over 3 billion years ago in primitive photosynthetic bacteria. And actually, we believe that it's very highly conserved. You know, the ones that are in plants today uh, are very highly conserved to primitive photosynthetic bacteria, which means that they haven't really changed that much in structure. Uh, so reaction center complex, what's important about it? So the special pair of chlorophyll molecules in the reaction center will immediately pass the high energy electron to a, ah, to a neighboring chain of electron acceptors in the protein complex. And by doing this, the reaction center complex transfers the high energy electron to a more stable environment. And then these light generated high energy electrons are ultimately fed into the electron transport chains. So this is actually a picture of um, an arrangement of electron carriers within a bacterial plasma membrane. See, it says here lipid bilayer of bacterial plasma membrane. And so, and it doesn't include obviously the, the, the light harvesting complexes and things like that. It just shows you the arrangement of the different electron acceptors as we're going downhill, so to speak, or stepwise downhill. Um, and so we start with a special pair of chlorophyll molecules here and then we have pheophylline, and then we have eventually quinone. So the pigment molecules that are shown are held in the interior of a transmembrane protein, and they are surrounded by the lipid bilayer of the bacterial plasma membrane. Okay, so what we're seeing is an electron in the special pair of chlorophyll molecules is excited by resonance or resonant energy transfer from an antenna complex chlorophyll, and then the excited electron is transferred 
um, from the special pair of chlorophyll molecules all the way down to quinone as a final electron acceptor. And so I show you this even though it's from bacteria, um, we have a very similar arrangement of electron carriers that are present in uh, present day plants, like in land plants as well. Okay, so a photosystem in review a, is a reaction center complex associated with many light harvesting complexes, which is ultimately what we call the antenna complex. So a photosystem consists of a reaction center complex surrounded by light harvesting complexes. The light harvesting complexes, which have accessory pigment molecules bound to the proteins, will transfer the energy of the photons to the reaction center. And this is the diagram again, you know, I can, I can explain it again, but basically, you know, you have your photon comes in, hits the accessory pigments, causes this electron to become excited and jump up, which causes this one to become excited and jumped up, which causes this one to be excited and jumps up, and the, so on and so forth, until eventually it gets um, accepted by the chlorophyll molecules. Okay, and then, um, so these, the purple blobs are your light harvesting complexes. Together they make the antenna complex. And then this blue in the center here is your reaction center complex with the chlorophyll um, and the primary electron acceptor. And then all of this together is what we call the photosystem. Okay? And you know what? Maybe we should stop there.